there, welcome back to Evolve Models with part 13 of our Spitfire build. So we had a bit of a mishap in the last video, let's see what we can do about it. You probably saw in the video that while putting the uh, clear coat on top, uh, which looks nice everywhere else, um, I inadvertently poured some uh, MRP super clear gloss and it's made a bit of a mess here. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking, I can still see the detail in there, so it's not too bad. I can see there's a few little lines and ridges in areas. And I'm just going to see what happens if I take a fibre pen and just see if I can smooth down the edges. Because I don't want to sand over it, but this does seem to be flattening the edges down. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over, the, over the, this bit with the pen. Now I might just blast over it again with um, some of the under surface uh, paint and see how we get on there. So this seems to be not doing too bad a job. Uh, but I think we might have to put this down on to experience. Uh, really. So I'm just going to go over all the areas now and see what we can do to try and recover it. Uh, let's see if we may lay some paint over the top of it and uh, then uh, clear it again and see what happens. But there you are, that's modelling. I'm not going to get too upset about it. Uh, as I said, it's a warts and all channel. And there's another warts, there's been a few on this. Uh, a bit of a learning experience. So I'm going to go over this now and see what we can do to recover it. Anyway, see you in a minute. Okay, so basically I've flattened it down as much as possible without going too mad and completely losing any detail in there. And now I'm just going to go in with the medium sea grey, um, obviously the colour, the underside here. <coughs> and I'm going to shoot over the top and see what it looks like now. I've masked it off a fair bit here, um, so we'll see what we get. So let's... looking a lot better than it was. I don't think it's ever going to be perfect now by any means but uh, it's looking better than it was. You can see there it's a little bit of a mark. Might just go over it again now and just build up some coats and see if we can hide some of those areas. Just have to feather it in a bit really. Okay so it's had a moment or two to dry now. We can see there's a slight difference here. I'm going to go over it again now with the uh, clear coat but this time I've got a top on it, so hopefully I'm not going to be a Muppet. Uh. So I'm going to leave that to dry now and then we can go on to stuff like Declan in a minute or two. So I'll see you back in a bit. So before we get on to the Declan, we've got a bit of work to do here. I sprayed all of the landing gear all one colour uh, and I managed to use a mask hole to cover up the uh, central uh, aluminium uh, hub in these and I just need to use uh, brushwork now and go around all the wheels and tidy up the rubber.
I'm going to get all the undercarriage and wheel assemblies all built up ready, but I'm not going to fix them permanently into the aircraft. I want them so we can take them away when we're doing the decal in, but for the time being, we're going to get this part of the build all sorted. As always with painted parts, it's always better to use CA glue. And I just want to do a bit of a test fit to make sure everything fits all present and correct. Okay, so it's about time we've got started with some decals and uh, some things we're going to need. Uh, Obviously the decal sheet themselves, let's make a thing here, the aircraft. We're going to need a micro set and then we're going to need some micro salt, one brush, one blade to cut them out because I like cutting that individually, uh, one ruler for doing that, a flat sheet uh, just for cutting because I don't want to cut through this, a piece of paper to put down anything damp and of course we've got some lukewarm water. I say we're going to do these individually. So, decaling is not my favourite sport by any means. So, first up, I'm just going to prep the area. Let's see, we've got a varnish coat on here. So this stuff's going to bead up. I'm hoping it will make it slide nice anyway. That's done anyway. Let's move the water over. I say normally about 10 seconds. These are cartograph. We float to the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And then we're going to pick him up. Do, do, do. And I'm just going to put him on the red thing here. On the red tile. Try that. So, so, one of the edges is going to be down here and then up to there. And so, we can just roughly get him in place. It's time to do some manoeuvring. And there's one on. And what we'll do is that when that's dried, I will then go over it with a bit of the uh, B solution mark salt to soften it up a bit. The second one, one, one went on a bit better, and uh, they're going to dry now. And I'm going to flip it over, and actually, what I'm going to do is because I don't want to scratch our half lovely paintwork, is I'm just going to put it on this towel here. And I want to do the ones that go either side here now. So I'm going to follow the exact same process for prepping them. So I put them to a side for a second. And according to our destructions, these are number 11s. So what I'm, doing is I'm going to take two of these number 11s.
Hello and welcome back. So, I've spent much time um, doing the decals on uh, the bird and it's taken about 10 coats of uh, the uh, do, 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 Microsol um, after laying them down. So it's taken about 10 coats of uh, this stuff to get them to sit down really nice. And there's, I'm not, I'm not going to call it silvering at all. But it's, it has taken a bit for it to uh, to go into all the gaps and stuff. And I don't know if you can pick it up here on here that easily. But eventually it's gone down and it's looking good. It's looking a bit shiny. Uh, but they're all looking good. You can see the, the text on the uh, wings as well. Uh, and obviously we've got the uh, all down the side. Uh, all of those. Uh, we've got some on the front there as well. Uh, and again on that side and there and obviously the rear rear tail ones on the tail number also underneath uh, we can see little ones on the rear here and uh, if we go and have a look at the wings we've got all of the ones on the wings there and underneath now pictures that I've seen of, of the aircraft don't seem to have all of this on there but it's in the manual and it took a few hours to, to get them down there and, and stuff and they do look good uh, and the other one which is a little bit fiddly uh, if we can get them there's some little marks I don't know how I can see uh, that we're on here let me, that we're on here as well uh, a bit pointless those ones but they've gone on anyway they're on there uh, we've got the ones that go around the, uh, the canopy Ooh. see these okay around the canopy and that one, they're a bit fiddly but they went on. The canopy needs a little bit of a clean up. And obviously we've got the ones on the props as well. So the little red mark is on the inside. And these, these are looking pretty nice actually, these look really good. Um, what I want to do now is, is get some uh, clear coat laid down on it. But obviously we're going to do a bit of weathering on it, we're not, not going to go mad. Uh, so I'm going to use a matte varnish. So before, before I put the decals down, I used a super clear um, gloss. So we have like a surface that could slide on. Now that's done, I'm going to go in with this matte varnish and hopefully it will take the edge off it and look, make it look a bit more natural. Um, well, that's the idea. So we've got a number of bits to do. Uh, we've got obviously the craft itself. Uh, we've got all these little bits here. And I want to get some over the, um, yeah, the props as well. So my next step is to get the airbrush ready and uh, we'll get ready to do some more spraying of clear. So as you would have seen, basically last time I tried to clear uh, coat this, um, we had a bit of a nasty accident where I spilt a load on top of the wing section, um, which was down here, uh, here, a little bit of residue there, but I wasn't going to go into it too far, we'll try and weather that away. Um, I didn't want to remove the paint underneath, and uh, you know, that's my bad. Um, on the other side, it's not looking too bad, unless you're really close up to it, you ain't going to see. So I've got the airbrush ready. Um, I've put the clear coat in and I'm using uh, the lid on it this time. So we'll just get that ready. And what I'm going to do is, because this stuff really does stink, is I'm going face mask on now. So I will be mumbling.
Okay, so I'll lay down the first coat of matte varnish. Don't know if I need to do a second or not, but the paintwork is looking really flat now. Not a hint of a shine anywhere, looking more natural. It seems as though it worked on the fuselage. Let's do all the other bits now and make sure they're looking nice and flat as well. As it's all coming together now, it's time to put some pieces together. We've got the prop and the nose cone here. I'm just going to use the CA glue and get them all bonded together. I'm going to do a dry fit of these pieces now, not going to put them in permanently yet. Next up on the list of things to do is the canopies. We need to get them stuck down permanently now. I'm going to use the normal crystal clear, putting it around the edges and getting it bolted down onto the aircraft. I'm just using a wet earbud to remove any residue from around the canopies. Thanks for joining me. In the next episode, we'll wrap this build up.